on today, guys? I am doing a review today of the M1 MacBook Air. I've had this computer, I will admit, for about, um, I got this, uh, we are in October now, and I got this in May. Uh, actually, I got this in about June. So I've had this computer, no, I've actually got it in July. So I've had this computer for about four months, five months, and I have to say that I'm doing a review about it, um, but, there's a lot to it, so I want to do a review for you guys today of the M1 MacBook Air. I got the space gray version. Um, I will start off by saying that it does come in 256 gig and 512 gigabyte storage, and I got the 256 gig. But the reason why I was so happy with the MacBook Air to begin with, the new M1, um, before making this review, was the fact that it actually starts out, out at 256 gigs of memory, um, hard drive, excuse me, because the previous ones would start out at 128 and I thought that was kind of a scam uh, because if you're like me and you do YouTube reviews or you're like anybody else who actually does things on a computer, 128 just fills up like that. And then it's basically like asking you to get another hard drive. So today guys, we are doing a M1 MacBook Air uh, four months later, my personal opinion and should you buy it. So stay tuned guys, here we go. So if you guys are anything like me, you're probably saying to yourself, I want to buy a new computer and I only have maybe $1,000, maybe $800, maybe I'm going to finance it, whatever it's going to be. And I don't want to drag this video on to tell you guys, um, you know, in depth about why I made the decision to buy the M1 chip, because this whole video is going to basically explain to you why I decided to buy it and if you should buy it. Um, but you're probably, you were like me and you're like, wait a second, the MacBook Air has been notorious and I'm sorry if this offends somebody, but it's just the truth for being a very low powered, expensive Ultrabook that gets great battery life, has an i3 processor. This is obviously the past and has eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, so that's all very true. The old MacBook Air, in my opinion, was kind of a POS and not a point of sale. I mean, a piece of, um, crap. So I guess POC, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, guys. The MacBook Air kind of is has been a surprise for a lot of people because people have always thought the MacBook Airs and the MacBook Pros were overpriced and didn't give you a lot of power. So today we're going to be looking at the MacBook Air M1 chip and whether or not this new update and this new software, this new hardware adjustment is worth your money. Um, I will start off just by saying that you can get the MacBook Air on an education discount, which gives you $100 off. Um, so I, I'm just going to start the video off by saying this is a thousand dollar PC, uh, Mac, whatever you want to call it, personal computer. It doesn't really matter. Um, but with the education discount, it's $800. It starts out at $800 with the education discount. If you have a teacher as a family member or you're a student, um, I believe even if you have been a student or a family member, um, I guess I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I think you can literally just put in that you went to a certain school and they'll give you the discount. I'm not sure there's a lot of um, like verification for that, but I also really haven't looked into it lately. Um, but anyways, guys, the, that one for the education discount, the 256 gig starts at $900, 899. And then the, um, 512 starts at a thousand. And then from there it goes up and then you can also adjust the Ram depending on what you're looking for. And I will include this one. Mine does have eight gigs of Ram, the 256 gig and it is the space gray option. The silver is a little bit lighter. Um, I think it act, I, apparently it shows wear and tear more. But anyways, guys, um, let's get right into it. I don't wanna waste any time.
So guys, another few things that are cool about the MacBook Air M1 is that it does come with, in the box, a 30 watt uh, USB-C power adapter, which is also cool because if you have an iPhone that supports USB Type-C to lightning fast charge, this will actually do dual purpose and this will fast charge your iPhone and then it'll also charge your laptop. So if you go on vacation, you only need one charger. So this one though, it does, this is light, um, not lightning, this is USB-C to USB-C, which means that um, you're gonna actually need two cables if you bring your iPhone somewhere. But then I also, I also wanted to show you guys the case that I use. The only reason why I'm telling you guys this, I don't really care what you buy, um, but for 14, 13 or 14 or $15, I thought this was a great deal. Um, for me personally, this case has a sleeve on the back um, I think that's what it's called, but then the inside is like a microfiber. Um, it feels very good. It's kind of similar to a couch, um, but it's basically a guarantee no scratch. In my opinion, they didn't say that at all. Um, but the reason why I really like it is just because it really just feels soft. And then there's a zipper on the top and then there's a zipper on the side. And full disclosure guys, I've actually never used the sleeve or the zippers just because I'm very paranoid about my stuff and I don't want my MacBook to have any kind of other pressure. So anyways, guys, this is a Lacto, L-A-C-D-O. Um, it was kind of impulsive buy. Um, I was on Amazon one night and I was like, I need a MacBook sleeve and this one was cheap and it had good reviews. So I was like, why not? So I will put the link to that in the description. I will also put the link to this MacBook in the description so you can go and buy it if you'd like. But anyways, guys, I actually really like it. I hope you enjoyed this. This is the M1 MacBook Air and this is five months later. Thanks for watching.